Hey Jonathan here, in this video I want to show you how we're using Google Ads right, uh, and run traffic and make a lot more money uh, using some money and ad spend on Google Ads to make your store profitable for e-commerce. Okay, So if you're running e-commerce store, I think this video will definitely help you and give some perspective on uh, what you can actually do with Google Ads because Google Ad traffic is actually very, very targeted and it's actually really good, especially if you know what you're doing and um, if your offer is really good. Okay, So I just want to show you, like for example, a very, very fresh ad account. right? For example, this one. Uh, this one, we only start spending in like, June. Uh, but as you can see here, I'm not sure why, but the account got suspended for some reason. Okay, But basically, uh, you can see right um, the campaign here. So at first we had um we're running to an uh to an, a brand new offer right so uh the traffic is new so we are spending alongside uh facebook as well so this is just a concurrent um how do i say this a concurrent campaign that it goes along with it so you can see here we're getting uh cost per conversion right basically means cost per purchase so uh, uh basically spending 11 dollars cost per purchase okay and you can see conversion value over cost you can see over here this is basically the ROAS. Okay, the same thing as ROAS, the ROI, or whatever you want to call it. Okay, and then um, basically, I'm going to show you the exact strategy uh, that we're going to use as well. But basically, you can see it's a nine times ROAS on the first campaign, and then there's uh, you can see 29 times ROAS afterwards as well. Okay, to be fair, uh, we're not spending a lot of money here, we're only spending like a total like 3.7k uh, so far, and then um, the, the account got had, had a problem, like got to shut down and stuff. But I just want to show you the like exact method that you can use as well, so you can get similar results for yourself. Okay, so um. Yeah, I mean, you can see here, we're only running Google search at this moment in time. We haven't even run uh, Google shopping, uh, but it's that's something you can do as well for yourself, okay? So let me just break it down for you so you know uh, what I'm talking about. I uh, created some slides for you, okay? So um, Google Ads case study, right? You can see here, overall, uh, the ROAS is like 10. It's like 10, which is crazy because you will never get these type of numbers uh, on Facebook. But uh, fair, fair enough, right? Like on Facebook, you also can't, uh, you can scale very, very fast, very hard. Uh, because um, Google traffic is based on search traffic. So you cannot scale harder than normal as well, if that makes sense. Okay, so let me just show you uh, the case study. Okay, so Google traffic, as I said before, is very extremely targeted traffic. And basically when you're running Facebook and uh, Google, right, Google is generally much more stable than Facebook. That's kind of why uh, I like Google. But you cannot um, scale very far on cold traffic because um, Facebook is interruption-based marketing. And whereas Google is like, people are searching for it. So you can't force people to search more of your term of your product basically. And so, yeah, you, you can't just get uh, more sales if, if you wanted to, right? So I can show you here. So the strategy is um, at first, right? For example, if you're spending like $1,000 on, on uh, per day on Facebook already, or you are at least selling something on Facebook, this is a very, very fast strategy you can do. You actually can start off with uh, Google search and Google shopping first. Uh, and then transition over as well. But um, I think that'll be a bit slower. If you're actually spending on Facebook already and then you transition to, to Google uh, alongside it, it's actually, uh, the results are much faster because there's a lot of data on your pixel already. And so uh, Google's AI will optimize much faster, right? It goes much faster uh, to conversions, okay? If that makes sense, okay? So you just, uh, what I do is I set up a maximize conversions campaign. As you can see here, maximize conversions campaign. And then you run it for $50 per day on Google search or shopping. Okay, in this case, I only uh, set, uh, set up search because the shopping feed uh, was not approved at this point in time. So that's a bit annoying. Uh, then afterwards, the product page side, right? Uh, we use the optimized product page layout that we use in our coaching program. So the, the pain points, the benefits, and the social proof, that one. So if you're in the coaching program, you know what I'm talking about. Okay, so um, after seven days or so, uh, what you need to do is go into your negative keywords, okay? So you go into uh, negative, you go into keywords and then go negative keywords and you go and eliminate the keywords that are not relevant uh, to your business, okay? That's number one. Number two, then you go and search the search terms, choose the search terms that are relevant to your business. So for example, if you are uh, selling this water bottle, right? This water bottle, and then you see that the search term comes up perfume, right? You will cancel those terms and also only choose uh, the search terms that are like related to water bottle, if that makes sense, okay? Then for number three, uh, you take note of the keywords that are actually getting conversion for you okay and then uh, yeah that's basically it so this is after seven days or so because uh, Google they optimize much slower than Facebook so Facebook is probably around a three to four full day uh, yeah full day conversion cycle and then you can see the data but then uh, for Google it's a much much slower game and so um, yeah you just need a uh, longer time to analyze the data okay then afterwards after you've um, started a campaign right maximize conversions and then you want to first observe the cost per conversion so you can see here right the cost per conversion here is around eleven dollars so it's stabilizing at eleven dollars getting getting 296 uh, purchases right here. There are actually a few more, but just um, 
Google's Pixel didn't um, didn't track everything, right? So then afterwards, um, once there's a lot of data come through, then Google, Google's AI, right, it'll transition over. Uh, we can go to target CPA. So we change the bid strategy from maximize conversions to target CPA. And once once that happens, right, then um, Google's AI is very very stable, especially on scale. Yeah. So uh, I, I like that about 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 Google, lah. Okay. So. Just to visualize for you, you go, you take maximize conversions first. Once you get about a hundred conversions or so, you can see here they're like two nine six, right? So it's it's more than enough to get some get the ball rolling. Then you transition, you kind of like turn off this maximize conversions campaign, and then you change it to target CPA. So I change it to target CPA, and as you can see, right, the target CPA like dropped, the cost per conversion dropped almost two times, right? And then basically you want to let Google decide because this, uh, I actually put the bid as five, I think five dollars and eight cents, the target CPA. And then uh, eventually, because Google got, got so good, right, that uh, it became $4.35 as well, okay? So like that is something that you actually can definitely use uh, and it's very good, okay? So things to keep in mind before you actually set this up is that, uh, number one, you need to go and set up your conversion tracking on Shopify, checkout, uh, or whatever it is as well before you run any traffic, right? Ensure that um, all your conversion tracking is set up before you want to run the traffic, otherwise you're wasting money, honestly, yep. And then second thing is like, um, I realized as well, over these few months, right, uh, Google has been very, very sensitive recently. So you need to take note of this, okay? So if you can put in the, especially the contact us in the website uh, or the about us page, right? You make it very, very clear on what your website is, the contact information, any business information. So they, they definitely need contact information. You can't just be some scammy company and stuff. You need to actually uh, put in like, for example, how to contact you, uh, the, the, the hotline or whatever, uh, your actual support website and start, uh, sorry, support email and stuff like that, okay? So you need to be very transparent with this. Otherwise, Google will like flag your account in a sense, okay? And then last thing, um, okay, it's actually hard to get your Google shopping feed uh, approved by Google nowadays if you are a new account because they are very uh, sensitive to new sellers on the platform because everybody's jumping into Google ads and stuff, right? So um, this will usually actually take three to four business days. If for example, if, if you had a problem with your feed, okay? So before you even submit your Google shopping feed in the first time, uh, then you definitely want to um, push out and actually uh, make sure that all of your contact information that, that is put on here is actually on your website first, okay? Hopefully that, that, that makes sense to you, okay? Yep, so... Um, the numbers are very, very good on Google. As you can see here, overall, it's like a 10 times ROAS, uh, which is honestly insane. Uh. Yep. Okay. So uh, 3,000 spent and over like 30,000 brought in as well. Okay. Hopefully, this very short video is uh, useful for you for this seven minutes or so. Uh, yep. And hopefully, you can uh, implement this into your store as well. Okay. Thanks so much. I'll see you in the next one.